Welcome to Summer School with Mrs. Hasty. Nutrition, exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, clean air, rest, and trust all make a healthier you. go to bed. Have you ever said that? I think that we all have. There's so many fun things to do and we just don't want to stop to sleep. Sometimes we spend a lot of time playing and working and we spend less time sleeping. But if you want your body to play and work its best, then you need to get your sleep. If you want to be healthy, get your sleep. If you want to be healthy, get your sleep. If you want improved attention, learning behavior, and memory. If you want better health, get your sleep. If you want to be healthy, get your sleep. If you want to be healthy, get your sleep. If you want improved attention, learning behavior, and memory, if you want better health, get your sleep. That's right. Sleep helps improve our learning, our behavior, our attention, and our memory. Sleep is good for our bodies and our brains. A study was done with 44 college students. Half of them slept all night before a test. The other half studied all night long. Who do you think did better on the test the next day? Well, the ones who studied were really confident, but the ones who slept got better grades. There's a time to rest, to nap, to sleep. When you take time to rest, you recharge like a battery. There's a time to rest, to nap, to sleep. When you take time to rest, your body helps fight disease. There's a time to rest, to nap, to sleep. When you take time to rest, your brain works correctly. You may be sleeping, but your body is doing a lot of work while you're asleep. Just like your computer needs to be plugged in to recharge itself, your body recharges while you're sleeping. Your body also releases proteins to fight off sickness and disease while you're sleeping. And your brain is sorting through and processing all the information that you took in during the day. I know sometimes it can be hard to fall asleep. Remember that sunshine, fresh air, and exercise during the day can help you sleep better at night. It's also important to not look at any screens, TVs, phones, or iPads at least 30 minutes before it's your bedtime. If you're still having trouble falling asleep, try this. Lay in your bed and close your eyes. Imagine with every breath that you're blowing up a balloon. Every time you take a breath, the balloon gets bigger. You can choose a color for your balloon and make it as big as you want. Once it gets big enough, think about it floating up into the sky. Where is the balloon going to float? Maybe think of a fun place you like to go. A friend's house or a park. Let your balloon float all the way there. Let it settle down in the place that you want to go. Then think about the fun thing that you're going to do there. As you're laying in bed with your eyes closed, thinking about how much fun you're having. Before you know it, you've fallen asleep. Are you still watching? Or did you fall asleep on me? Let's look at an animal who likes to sleep a lot. I am 
This is my pet cat, and her name is Luna. I've had it around for two years, and she's a girl. These are some of the ways I care for my cat. One of them is scooping up his litter box, and another is locking it in the garage or the basement when we go somewhere, and another is giving it water and food. And this is one of her favorite places to sleep. And it's one of her favorite things to do. Why do you think she sleeps all the time? Because it's one of her favorite things to do. Today, I've made a simple circuit. My circuit has batteries, that go to a switch, that go to a fan, that goes back to the batteries. It's a circuit. Watch, I'm going to turn on the switch and see what happens. Do you see my fan spinning? Oh, that was fun. One more time. Turn on the switch. It's allowing power to come from the batteries to power the fan. Turn it off. And it stops spinning again. Let's change the fan for a light. Now I have the same simple circuit. The batteries going to a switch that goes to a light and back to the batteries. A full circuit. When I turn on the switch, the light comes on. The switch is allowing power from the batteries to get to the light. What would happen if my batteries got all used up. The batteries died. I left the light on so long that the batteries were no longer working. Do you know what happens? <gasps> Without the batteries, the light turns off. Sometimes as batteries start to die, lights start to flicker a little bit. They flicker because they're not getting very much power. And then the light goes out completely. If the batteries are dead, we need to recharge them. This is a battery recharger I can plug into the wall. It takes the electricity from my house and recharges the batteries. Then I can put the batteries back in and the light works again. Batteries need to be recharged. They only work so long before they need a recharge. Did you know that we need recharges too? Our muscles, our brains, our heart even, needs sleep to recharge and to work its best. We're healthier if we recharge by getting enough sleep at night. I like to get things done. What about you? I keep myself busy with work, hobbies, and chores. When I'm not busy doing that, I might find something entertaining to watch. Many people are the same way. J. Donna Trent was working four jobs, driving two hours each day, and started to get headaches. She talked to the doctor about it and the doctor said she needed to slow down and take a break. It's important to get rest and sleep at night, but it's also important to take a break during the day. Trent listened to her doctor. She studied it out and she ended up writing a book called For Sabbath's Sake, a book about realizing everyone's need to take a break. 
Tiffany Schlein's career is online. She runs a film studio, she starts online conversations, and she founded the Webby Awards. But even she realized that she needs a break. So every week, her family takes a 24-hour break from all of their screens. They call it their technology Shabbat. A Sabbath or a Shabbat is a day of rest, a 24-hour break from the things that you regularly do. Traditionally, it's a day of religious observance by Jews, but more and more people are realizing the health benefits of taking a Sabbath. The American Psychological Association suggests that constantly staring at screens may be making us more distracted, distant, and drained. Professor Jerry Lee of the School of Public Health at Loma Linda University said, Refraining from secular activities on a Sabbath is associated with better mental health and better physical health. Shlaine says she spends her day off inviting people over, sharing a meal, and laughing more than she does on any other day of the week. She says it's a day to put a regular routine aside and spend time connecting with others. What about you and your family? Have you ever had a Sabbath? A day with no homework or chores? Put away all your devices and focus on connecting with other people? Sounds great, huh? Maybe you should talk to your family about trying it. It could be fun, and it'll make you healthier, too. Are you ready to do today's craft? Yeah! <laughs> yes. Well, we get rest at nighttime, don't we? When it's dark outside. So today, we're going to make a night light for when we're resting. Are you ready to get started? Yeah! <laughs> Good. If you're doing this craft at home, you will need a styrofoam cup, some markers, some toothpicks, and a flashlight. A little flashlight. Let's start by decorating our cup. Let's use these markers. I'm making it dark like a night sky. How are you doing inside? I'm going to do a blue next. Can I do it inside? Mm-hmm. Can I make some stars along the edge since it's a night light? What other lights do you see at night? Do you see the moon? Where's the moon? Can I draw a moon for you? Uh -huh. Right here. It's daytime out right now. But at night we see the moon and the stars. Okay. Now we're going to use toothpicks to poke holes in it. Be careful because both edges are sharp, okay? And I don't want you to poke yourself. So let's put little holes. We could poke holes in the shape of a star. Think we could do that? Okay, a few more and then we'll be done. Now we're going to put a hole in the top. 
This hole needs to be larger. We're going to thread this string from the flashlight through this hole. Let's see if I can reach to get it. There it is. Pulled it through and then I can stick a toothpick in it to hold it there. Now we can turn on the flashlight. This will look even cooler at night. Should we put this in your bedroom tonight? Mm -hmm. <laughs>for joining me for summer school today and don't forget to come back again for more learning fun let's have fun learning how to be a healthier you